Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In our last tutorial, we understand how circuit breaker patterns work with Resilience 4J, right? So in this tutorial, we'll discuss another module of Resilience 4J, that is retry patterns. Before we deep dive into its implementation, first let's understand why do we need this retry pattern in microservice world. So if you observe, here we have two microservices, user service and catalog service. Now let's say user service called catalog service and due to some connectivity issue, catalog service is taking longer time to respond. So there could be couple of possible reason for this slowness. For example, let's assume catalog service is listening to Kafka server and in Kafka there is some lag. So definitely this will impact on your application and user can expect slowness in your API. In other hand, you can take a scenario where our catalog service is using some cloud database which is running in different data center or you can say it's running in different server. So anytime we can face intermittent network connectivity error which will again impact to your application. Okay. Similarly, there can be also temporary unavailability of dependency or there can be deployment environment failure due to some wrong configuration. Right. So you can find n number of reasons for API fail or slowness in microservices world. Since microservices are distributed in nature, various things can go wrong anytime. So to make our service resilient to these kind of failures, we must need to adopt these retry patterns. The idea behind the retry pattern is quite simple. Let's say user service called catalog service and received an unexpected response. Then in that case, user service need to reattempt few call again and again to catalog service in some time interval. If any of your attempt to catalog service back to online, then we are good. Otherwise, we have option to return fallback response to the end user. Okay. So Resilience 4J provides us a separate module to implement this retry pattern in your application where the below configuration, you can set the number of retry limit and time duration. So if you observe, Resilience 4J retry is the module and instance name is the user service. I mean from user service, we are just trying to call the catalog service and in this user service, I just want to implement the retry patterns. That's the reason I just keep the user service as instance name. And if you observe here, max retry attempt is 3 and wait duration is 5 seconds. So max retry attempts means the number of maximum attempt you can do from user service to catalog service and each 5 seconds it will attempt once. Okay. That's the reason we just set the wait duration. So we'll just understand this in our code. So without any further delay, let's implement this in action. <laughs> So let's go to the IntelliJ ID. If you observe, we have these two service user service and catalog service, which we created in our last tutorial while explaining the circuit breaker patterns using Resilience 4J. If anyone not aware about it, please check out my previous tutorial. Okay. So this is the catalog service. From this catalog service, we are just exposing two endpoints. Get all the orders and filter the order by category. Now, if you will go to the user service, from this user service, we are just invoking the REST API from the uh, catalog service. Okay. So if you observe, this is where the base URL of my catalog service and I'm just giving the URL here. So this already explained in my last tutorial of circuit breaker pattern. Fine. So we'll just implement the retry from this user service. Okay. Now let's assume this catalog service is not running due to some connectivity issue this particular uh, microservice is down. So now I just want to, if there is failure in the catalog service or it's not responding, I just want to execute the retry from this user service. It means user service will try calling that uh, catalog service for many times. If it got the response, then it's good. Otherwise, we have already this fallback method. Okay. Get available products. It will just return some dummy products or order object you can say. So first step, Let's go to the application.yml file and configure the retry modules. Okay. So if you can remember in last tutorial, we configured the circuit breaker module. Now we just need to configure the retry module. So this is the YML. So you need to be follow the proper hierarchy. The next module is retry. Just add it and give the instance name that is user service. So if you, if you can check here, 
this is what one variable we created user service user service okay you just need to give the same name here just enter it and give the user service then you just need to provide the configuration or attribute for your retry so max retry attempt i just want to set it 5 okay from user service i will just call 5 times if my catalog service is not responding and there is something called wait duration yeah wait duration i will keep 10 second now so that i can show you in meanwhile i will just start the catalog service and i will show you it will display your actual um, response from the catalog service rather than showing the fallback response okay so usually in real time we should not keep it 5 and 10 max retry attempt you need to be keep as 3 and wait duration you can keep as max 2 second is fine okay so this is just i am adding to demonstrate the exact use case of this retry pattern now next step you need to go to your controller class or wherever you are just invoking your api from user service just go there and here you just need to annotate at the rate right retry and then you just need to pass instance name uh, which you can give name and already you define the instance name here okay so you can give the same name user service and here you can provide your fallback method so i will just copy this fallback method i will just add it here for now since we are uh, just demonstrating the retry i will just comment this circuit breaker fine so now to show you that if the catalog service is not responding this user service is retrying to call that particular service i'll just add one variable here let's say private int attempt i'll just initialize it as one and then i'll just add one print statement okay before call this api method call so you can give the method name anything i will just keep it retry method call and the attempt i am just keep increasing this i'll just add a space times at the timestamp also i'm printing here okay so that you can get the clue about this wait duration so it will just attempt one then it will wait for 10 seconds then again it will attempt second time it will wait for 10 seconds meanwhile if you get the response then it will return you the success response otherwise you will get the fallback response okay now i think we are good so i didn't started the catalog service it's in stop mode now i'll just start the uh, this particular user service okay anything i missed let me cross verify this retry annotation and we added the configuration i believe we are good let me start this it will take few seconds Yeah, so you can see here uh, this user service is started on port 9292 now I will directly jump into my Chrome browser and I will clear this console ok go to the Chrome and I will just type uh, 9292 already I tried this while explaining the circuit breaker so it's there in my cache I can directly hit this API ok so you can see here I just clear my console now I just attempted once you can see here retry method called one times in time 21 38 second now the next call should be 21 48 ok so let's wait to complete you can see here it will just try for five times and if it will not get any response or your catalog service is not back to online it will return you this fallback response I will show you both the demo with fallback without fallback ok so you can see each 10 second interval it is just invoking the retry method 38 48 58 0 8 now it should stop at 18 yeah you can see here it got stopped and if you go to the browser you are getting the fallback response so if you will check the fallback response LED TV headset soundbar you can see these response okay this this is not the actual response from the catalog service now what i'll do i'll just stop this because if you observe in code i was just adding the simple statement now if i'll hit again it will just execute so i just want to 
start the count from zero i will just stop it and i will restart it quickly so i just started this user service it's running on port 9292 i will just clear the console fine now i'll just go here and i will open a new tab just remove it so now if you observe my catalog service is not running so what i'm going to do now i will just hit the api from the browser with this url now first time it won't get response from catalog service it will just keep buffering okay and you will see the count here meanwhile i'll just start catalog service in middle so you can see it will give the response in the retry method only okay i'll just enter it first time it just tried the retry meanwhile i will go to the catalog service and i'll just start it quickly i don't know whether it will start on the 20 second or not but let's see now if we'll go back to the user service it just tried it just retry three times i hope the user service catalog service will start soon yeah you can see the catalog service is started right now let's quickly jump to the user service one two three four it already tried a fourth time and if you observe it didn't start the fifth time because it got the response in browser you can see these are the response we are getting from the actual catalog service api now if you see here it stopped in the retry at fourth time only because after fourth time it called the catalog service and it get the response back so there is no sense to call another again uh, retry method right so you are getting the response here so this is how we can implement retry patterns in our microservice application and it's always good practice to implement this retry mechanism if your application is talking to any kafka because we may have multiple downstream and we never know who will go down at any time okay so it's good practice to implement this retry while working on kafka or if you are doing any http network call you need to implement this retry pattern so so far we completed two modules of resilience for j circuit breaker and retry mechanism now in my next tutorial i will just explain the rate limiter so i believe this retry pattern context is clear for you if not just let me know in comment section okay that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept